It's High Tech Dad here, and I'm at the Verizon store in San Francisco on Pine Street, and I'm with Alfred, who is part How's of the... How's it going? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. All right. So, what do you have? What do you have here? All right, I have me? the uh, new Verizon Wireless uh, okay. Motorola Droid phone that it's all hyped about. Um, it's Verizon's newest phone that runs on uh, Android OS, um, and it's the Android OS 2.0. So, um, it's the only Android OS 2.0 phone that's out in the market, um, and it's by Motorola. So. This is uh, generally how it looks like. It has a full touchscreen display um, along with a full QWERTY keyboard, as you guys can see. And it also has the uh, mouse pad on the right side to help navigate along with the touchscreen phone. So if we were to flip it, um, it also comes equipped with a uh, five megapixel camera. Um, it's great for picture taking. It also has a video recording on there. And then if you want a close up of the phone, uh, the good thing about the uh, Android OS phones is it's uh, completely customizable and what we mean by that is that it has three panels as you can see here's the first panel that you can customize with both icons uh, shortcuts and widgets that you prefer so for example um, you can do shortcuts as simple as uh, a shortcut to text or call um, a favorite of yours along with widgets such as battery power management widget, uh, weather widget, or like coupon widgets on there. ESPN.com There it goes. Um, and you can see that it pulled it up extremely quick, so now uh, we're going to pull up the actual web page. And since this phone runs on um, Verizon's 3G network, along with the uh, dual processor that the Motorola Droid has, should pull up the web page extremely fast. As you can see, just pulled up the web page right here, and it is a uh, full HTM, HTML web page browser. And you can do it both on landscape and uh, portrait mode right here. Right, so tell me a little bit about the different types of plans available. I think uh, right now a lot of the hype's been around the mm -hmm. consumer marketplace, but there are capabilities uh, to enable like okay. with the exchange integration and that sort of thing. Okay, so with the Android OS, um, as you mentioned, it comes uh, with both Microsoft Exchange support, which is probably one of the most popular ones out there for businesses today. Um, it supports both 03 and 07 um, exchange support. And I actually have it here if you guys want to check it out. So it is separate, which makes it extremely convenient uh, from the consumer side of the phone. So I will have my corporate email, um, Verizon. And then I also will have a separate corporate calendar right here uh, away from my Gmail calendar. There you go. That's great. I also understand there is an app that you can download from Motorola for the corporate directory. Yeah, well. so a um, couple things about this phone. So it has the, has the uh, Android OS, which has an Android market, which allows for a lot of apps to download. Since right now, out of the box, it doesn't have the uh, corporate directory, what I did was I downloaded a uh, corporate directory app, which is um, free which is great and what I can do is I can look up uh, anyone that's on our corporate server. So which do you prefer using the uh, built-in keyboard or the on-screen keyboard? Uh, both of them works so my preference is uh, always the built-in keyboard okay um, but if you need it to uh, use it for something quick um, the the onboard touchscreen keyboard works extremely well and I can actually I think I can type faster with the on-screen keyboard why don't you talk to me a little bit about battery life okay. um, I was playing with the demo one for a while and had it sitting on my desk and it ran out of battery after like only okay. eight hours but I think I had everything turned on like Wi-Fi okay. GPS so, everything so like that. that happened to me the first day I got the phone um, the battery did last from you know, eight to like two. Mm -hmm. But there is a good way to manage the battery. So now I actually don't need a charger throughout the day. 
uh, but even though Verizon recommends a charger always, a car charger, <laughs> but um, but we do have ways to help you manage the battery. So, yeah, Ooh, I won't let. I'll blur okay, that a little right. so no one can see it. <laughs> so um, it's kind of a unique password entry where you enter in a pattern on the screen as opposed to entering in numbers like on the iPhone or something yeah. like that. So if you go onto Android's Market, which is at a the online shopping uh, for Android OS, there's a bunch of battery widgets that you can download. The one I downloaded is located right here. And what it does is it help manages the four um, features or tools within this phone that uses the battery the most. So give it a second to load. So as you can see, it's the display, the Wi-Fi, the GPS, and the Bluetooth. Okay. Usually the one uh, that uses the battery the most is the uh, display, uh, the brightness of the display of the uh, the touchscreen or the screen in the front. So if I click on it, I'll show you guys. If I click on the display, it'll take me to a shortcut to where I can manage the brightness of the phone. And this would be extremely important to help manage the battery life. So defaulted out of the box, it's all the way up. So I would recommend it anywhere to half weights or a little bit less than half. And this will actually give you a couple more hours in battery life on your phone, um, which will be very helpful. And then if I go back, the other, the other three is the Wi-Fi, the GPS, and the Bluetooth. So I always have my Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned off because I don't use those so frequently. I leave my GPS on because um, I use the Google Map features and Latitude on this. So with, with my display being halfway, my Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned off, I can last all day okay. with this handset. So one thing that you haven't talked about, which I thought was one of the coolest things that makes it really unique in the market, is the Google Navigation application, which is essentially a free GPS that gives you uh, uh, text-to-speech yeah. voice navigation. And one thing I really liked is how when you arrive at a at your destination, it pulls up street view of yeah. your location. So we can actually definitely show that. So um, Google Maps is free with this Android phone and um, the icon's located right here. And the good thing about this is Verizon actually sells an accessory. And how, that, how this works is once the phone is popped into the car mount, um, there's a magnet, magnet on the back of this phone and there's a magnet on, the, uh, on the, um, the mount that turns on the car home GPS. And that, it actually looks like this right here. Um, and I can give you an example. For example, if I wanted to do a voice search, of a restaurant that I'm looking for. I can go Cybell's Pizza, Oakland, California. It's voice activated. There you go, it gives me Cybell's Pizza, Oakland, California. It gives me the option of the phone number and uh, I can select this if you can see this. And it'll give me the option to turn on my GPS, my uh, Google Maps, I mean. And then once I select it, there you go, it has the destination. And it'll always default at my location, so wherever your phone is, since it has a built-in GPS, we'll start from there. And then once I get the directions, I have the options of the normal um, Google turn-by-turn -turn directions. But with this phone, it has the beta version of the navigation by uh, Google. And I can get turn by turn directions to my destination and actually turn. So, what we're looking at here, I think, is the street view in the Google Navigation app. Yeah, so this is a, a built in feature that's also free, is the uh, street view of the uh, Google Maps that we have. Let's take a look at it. And it also gives you layers of the traffic and satellite view, too. Great. Well, it looks like a really killer device, Alfred. I, I appreciate you taking some time to show it to me. Um, where can people find more information about the Droid? So, we can get more information from uh, Verizon's website, which is uh, www.verizonwireless.com. Um, I believe it's backslash droid, and uh, you can check out the device there. Great. All right. Thank you very much. All right.